Good morning, Portland. Today is August 30th, 2011. Now to the little kitty up for adoption. This is Oreo. Lily, can you explain how we found this little Oreo guy? We were outside putting up the flag, and he was sitting there being crazy. So we went inside, and we asked Natasha if we could take him in, and she said we could. So we went outside, and we took him in, and he's up for adoption now. He's a very wild cat, too. Uh, you would need your parents' permission to come get him. He is very wild. He is a boy. So if you want a boy cat and a wild boy cat, you can come. But you need to bring your parent in with you. And to pick it up and remember to contact Miss Hosh at the school. Remember identify remember to identify, describe, and explain your goals. Now to Tristan and Terry with Miss Orr, our new family resource coordinator. There you go. What do you like about the family resource center? What I like about the Family Resource Center is that um, kids at the school and their families can come in and we make sure that we take away any of the barriers to them getting to school and participating in school. What do you like about Portland? What I like about Portland is that everyone has been very friendly since I've been here and that we're an environmental studies magnet. So that means that we care about the earth and we care about the other people that we're around. How many schools have you been to? I have been to two schools before Portland that I worked at. Are you married? Yes, I am. How many kids? Do you have kids? Yes, I do. How many, How many kids do you have? Three. What are the names? Jessica, Matthew, and Jacob. How old are they? Nine, six, and two. Do you have a pet? No, I do not. What do you have an animal? animal. My favorite animal is the monkey. Why do you like monkeys? I like monkeys because they just like to laugh and have fun and they climb around. Do you like our new friend Oreo? I like our new friend Oreo and I'm hoping that either his owners call the school or somebody's parents call and say that they would like to adopt and take care of him. Do you like Portland Plural? I do like Portland Plural. Do you what do you, do you want to know how we found her? I would love to know how we found Portland Plural. She was she scratching was on the door uh, like, by mm -hmm. and, um, and Ms. Stoltz said I found her and we took her to the office and we had like a, a contest. So a contest who gets to keep her and feed her because they've been good. But Ms. Stokes picked her up from outside and broke her head and cared her for her, watched her. Watch her and give her some food. Now to Miss Miss Doctor Lawrence Lawrence with the morning announcements. Good morning, Portland. I want to talk with you today about ambition. Ambition is deciding what you would like to do with your life. And it's very important that you realize that having dreams and goals for what you want to do with your life also does require some planning. I've been talking with students yesterday and today about what you want to be when you grow up. And people have had wonderful responses to me. I've heard everything from being a scientist to a dentist to a teacher to a firefighter. But one thing that's really important for all of those goals and all those aspirations, it requires education. And it requires that students work really hard in school. So step one is taking place today. So give everything that your teachers do work on today your best shot so that you can have the best shot of achieving your goals and living out your ambition. And now to our Patriotic Panthers for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice for all. Kitty cat, kitty cat, adopt him, please.